dribble. Cleveland. Cleveland gave up nothing there. Shot clock at six. Now it's Miller. A lot of dribbling. Miller lost it. Cleveland ahead of the pack. Trap. Throws it down. Got away with a lot of steps. Actually, multiple efforts guarding in isolation. Turning the water off on the Kings. The four-point lead, the largest for Florida State, but Wong gets the crowd to its feet. And remember, Miami's out of timeouts. They burned their last timeout with seven minutes and change to go in this half. Miller posting up Worley. Miller with the left hand. Oh, near the follow. Miami by one. To make a play here. Wong has not shown the ability to stop it. Mills has to get to the painted area and try to make a play here. Ten second differential between game clock and shot clock. Mills got his man in the air. Throws it up off the window and in. Florida State by one. They haven't stopped it. Final 20 seconds. Miami out of timeouts. Wong puts it on the floor in the painted area. Kicks it out. And we get a whistle. It'll be a foul against Florida State. Now feet. Poplar to inbound. Miller for three for the lead. Got it! Final chance, Florida State. Worley, Cleveland for the win. It's good! Matthew Cleveland stuns Miami! Officials at the monitor to make sure it counted. I think he got that one off. I think Matthew Cleveland may have called game. He just looked at the fans and said, time to go home. The basket is good, and Florida State pulls off one of the most improbable comebacks of the season on Miami's home floor in a building where the Canes had not lost this season, Florida State down 23 at halftime, down by as many as 25, wins it on a Matthew Cleveland buzzer beater. Remember, Matthew Cleveland did this against Virginia last year. A missed assignment. Jordan Miller gets the three. Curtains, right? No, the kids call it the clapback. So cool, the sheep count him when he sleeps. Matthew Cleveland delivers the punctuation of all punctuations. A season that's been forgettable. Florida State provides a moment against their rival, and it looms large for ACC implications because now Virginia is back in the driver's seat to potentially win the ACC. Remarkable what just played out here in these final 20 minutes. Just you got to respect Matthew Cleveland understanding time and the ability to get to a spot to offer up a shot that he felt comfortable getting. He did that same thing a year ago versus Virginia. He has a penchant for this moment, and he made it happen. That is incredible stuff from that young man.